G'day my friends, Marty Weir from Marty's Garden. Now I've got a pretty exciting video for you today because I'm going to be talking about something that you can add to your soils and aeroponic systems, hydroponic systems to grow micro rhizy fungi and good beneficial bacteria. Yep, the microbes that help plants photosynthesize and grow big massive root systems. It's all in this stuff. Now what I've decided to do is bring the plants out from the lighting system. Now, if you haven't seen the videos so far that are running into the vlogs of this, I'm gonna leave a link sort of more to the end, so some cards and things like that, so you can watch the series, a bit of a playlist. But yeah, so the plants are doing okay, and I've decided I'm gonna bring them out into the sunlight. I'm gonna turn the lights off in the system, save some money, get them out into sunlight. I prefer sunlight myself for the time being. It's just more cost effective and when you look at the plants under the lights, they look yellow. Bring them out here into the natural light, they look more green. We've got a couple of problems with a little bit of the green crabby stuff growing on the side here. And we all know what that is, right? Well, basically, I, you know, some hydroponics fell on there a bit early and starts feeding it and, you know, you get the algae growth. But I'm not too worried about it. It'll die off as soon as I put it into the system and it doesn't get any light. But what we want to do is we want to talk about this product. You see, traditionally I'm a soils guy, right? I haven't really done a lot of hydroponics. I have done it, but I haven't done it in really big scale. Just like three months, I think, was the longest I did my longest growth thing for. And then I went back to doing soils again. And that was many, many years ago. We're talking over 20 years ago now. Now, this stuff is a powder, right? It's called Great White. Uh, I haven't got my glasses on here, but for, yeah, for a my, great white mycorrhizae. And it's got all the different mycorrhizae in there, so the fungi and stuff like that. And it's going to help the plants photosynthesize through the light and stimulate the root growth. So it's more close to the soils, but I'm going to be doing it in aeroponics. Now, I have been adding this to my plants outside as well around my garden and onto my pot plants. And I believe that it's it has helped. Now, I haven't run any trials, haven't done anything like that, but look, basically where this comes from, the hydroponics guy told me, he says all the weed growers use this stuff to grow really big root systems, right? And so what I'm gonna do is now, I found a quick little video from this company, and I'm just gonna run that through and show you so you can get a better understanding of what I can actually talk about, because I'm new to this, and this is what I'm gonna be putting into my air garden system and into my garden so watch the video and then we'll come back to the end and we'll talk about it some more what i'm going to do and what my plans are great white premium mycorrhizae represents the pinnacle of beneficial microbes trusted by pros and serious gardeners alike it contains a blend of endo and ectomycorrhizae numerous strains of beneficial soil bacteria and two species of trichoderma Great White is hands down the most effective micro product on the market. Great White will enhance nutrient and water uptake, lessen transplant shock, and produce vibrant and vigorous plants. It cannot be simpler to use. Simply sprinkle on seeds, dip cuttings, mix into water for hydroponics or soil drench. Use in cloning solution, or sprinkle directly on transplants. Use in hydroponics, cocoa, soil, or any other growing style. Use every feeding or use it every few weeks. So because I didn't add this early right at the very start when I was getting these seeds going, you know, it says to add them to seeds, but I found out from the guy that I bought it from that it takes water to activate it and it takes a while for the root to throw out. So I don't know if it is such a great idea to add it to seeds like that. Maybe if you had paper tissue and you put the tissue in there and then you add it a bit like that, I may be raising those like that in the future to do that. But for now, because I'm running a little bit behind, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the water method. Now, there's got a little thing in here I'll show you what it is. Now hopefully the camera will pick it up quite well. It's a little spoon, right? And it measures it out. And this does, this little spoon here, tiny little thing, does around 
seven liters. You can see, I'm putting my finger there so you can see the size difference. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add just a little bit more than a, what we call seventh or something like that to this water here. Now, when you read it or the instructions, it doesn't say anything about using dechlorinated water. When I asked the, the guy that I bought it from, he said, no, you can use the chlorinated water, that's fine. But this water that's sitting here, uh, it's been sitting for longer than 24 hours, so I'd say most of the chlorine's gone out of it, which I sort of subconsciously prefer to do. Now, it does have a bit of a smell and sort of like woofs up. I've got a bit under my nose <laughs> just then, but I'm sure I'm not going to get fungi going in my stomach. Blind, not anyway. And anyway, we're going to wash it up a bit. And so what I've got here is a little syringe, right? Now I use this to sort of like add to my hydroponic mixes. And so I can just put that down in there and then just grab some like this through my syringe instead of sort of wasting it because... Look, it's not cheap stuff. It cost me nearly $60, $63 for that little thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to squirt a little bit into each one like that. Now, I should have started from back this end. And so that's what I'll do. I'll go through the whole lot here. And I reckon it's going to stimulate the root growth. It might take a few days for it to get going, but it's going to be interesting to see because what's going to happen is these roots will then grow out into the air garden, and a bigger root system inside the air garden means the plants are going to grow much bigger and faster, and so I can harvest quicker. That's the concept behind it, of spending the money into this and then locking it into these plants, which will be, because these go fitted straight into the side of the air garden. You can see there's already some little roots out there below, which is really cool. And uh, I should probably give them a little squirt down below as well to attach some onto there. So I'll do that too. And this is really interesting for sure. Now, if you've got any questions about this product that I've got here or what I'm doing here or how crazy you think it may be because I'm still trying to get my head around it believe you me how we can have mycorrhizae on roots without soil but apparently all we got to do is have the oxygen and the plants photosynthesizing and things will happen I don't know if the mycorrhizae will repopulate because they do mention often that you need to feed it to the plants fairly regularly and so that may be something that may be that they're just trying to market it so you buy more. I don't really know. But hey, when it's in, when it's in soil, it populates. But we'll just have to wait and see how things go in the air garden. Right? So look, thanks a lot for watching another video here. Hope you found it interesting. Some great things happening on the show and really, really stimulating to see some type of new content coming out. I believe uh, there's going to be a lot of food coming out of this system real soon. So keep an eye out for the next vlog where I'm going to be setting up the air garden and getting these plants on their way. Happy gardening, and we'll see you at the next video real soon. Bye for now.